Joker cartoon. <laughs> probably don't remember me but I used to have this YouTube channel called Rage Filled, but it never gets a post anymore so really quickly what's happened on October October August 5th we were served an eviction notice from the new owners of the duplex we lived in in Farmington we had 30 days so over the next two weeks we found a newly built house put in an offer and closed on it so the past month it is the middle of october so all of september we spent moving and getting in here fortunately my wonderful sister and brother-in-law let us move into their garage and we moved our whole house into the garage and in the span of three days moved from what was left in farmington to this house and moved out of that house of my sister's garage into here it's been a mess but we are now here. The house is mostly set up. I had to buy a storage building to put the kayaks in, all the car parts. And this is the new space. So this is where the videos will be filmed here on out. This is my garage now. She, Alicia, my now fiance, because I'm engaged as well, uh, saw fit to let me have the garage because I'm in a house full of females, including the little Chihuahua dog which doesn't count that he's a male because he's a chihuahua and they aren't male. They are female and then less female. He's less female, but I'm the only one. So it's me and the shit. Which brings us to why this video is even here. I don't even know when this video is gonna come out, but I wanna document what is happening with this item here as it's changing and i don't feel it's a service to the channel or the three people who still watch these videos to not explain why this is here and why that is there and what's happening this died three weeks ago engine locked up tighter than the titty i don't know what happened to it it's going to get a cbr 300 swap but it's going to cost me like two to three thousand dollars to do that and i figured why not get this that i've been wanting for years this is a 1981 Kawasaki KZ650 F model. It is completely stock and completely original. I bought it from a very nice guy in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and he got it from his grandfather who was the original owner. It has now 9,700 miles on it, and it still has the sticker that tells you how to break it in. It is wonderful. It starts... Well, it starts with nothing. It's, it's nothing to start this. I will show you. Well, hold on. And I will show you. Hold on, and I will show you. It hasn't run in three days. It needs fuel. Be patient. See, just need the fuel. It's a beautiful bike. That didn't do it justice showing it start like that. It just came to me to film this and start this. And it, it didn't have fuel in the carbs and I had to run it into there. So it starts easier than that. Like now it'll probably just kick right over like it's nothing at all. Like I said, kick over like nothing at all. It's wonderful. It's a great little bike. Run it all over. So that's what uh, this video is about is this and what it looks like now because I have this, which is shocks and exhaust, new handlebars, a grommet because one is missing on the tank and it's loose. 
It's the whole mishmash of stuff over there that we're going to be getting into later. But the bike, stock, right? Everything on it's original. It's wonderful. Everything works. Uh, the only other things that I don't have yet that I will be putting on it, and I want to keep it mostly classic but a little bit of modern touches, I'm going to remove this chrome fender and put it in my Kawasaki box, and these are going away, and I'm going to put some LED lights on and a smaller tail light and tuck it in a little bit. Uh, it's a four and a one exhaust that I'll be doing a video on for that. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do pods yet. I probably won't for a while because it runs so good. If I do, I'll be putting pods on and bigger jets. Uh, I've got a GPZ front fender to replace the chrome one and I'm going to have it painted the same color as the tank. I will probably have the paint redone it's getting rough in spots and it's not if it was the same if it was the same quality not quality the same shape as the tail fin is a little nicks here and there but it's okay i wouldn't bother but this side piece is faded and it's getting some rust and i don't want the rust to uh get worse so i'm going to be redoing that um headlight is getting switched out to an led black housing one gonna keep the chrome ring um these are getting swapped out with the back ones of course some of this other stuff miscellaneously but i'm gonna drop the headlight and drop the gauges and lower everything but i want to keep it very original but modernize it slightly if that makes sense i want it to look classic and from the 80s but with some modern touches but i don't want a cafe racer this thing or make it a brad or a bobber or anything like that me and alicia ride this bike we already rode it once and it was really nice it runs down the road good it's got nice manners and it's it's a very pretty motorcycle i really like it so this is crazy everybody uh kz650 that i've been wanting for a very long time now i have it and Big thanks to uh, Justin and Tulsa for working with me on it, on the price, and helping me. <sighs> and it's it's going to be great. I'm very excited. Welcome to the new shindig. Hopefully, uh, once my computer is operational again, I have not yet hooked it up, we'll be back in here filming videos and doing some other stuff. And this is going to be a pet project. I might get to this early next year, I might not, but she's locked up tighter than hell. I don't really know what happened. She just died on the road. Engine locked up so hard, locked up the back wheel. Had to haul it home. Then she's sat here ever since. So anyway, boo. Yay. Bye-bye. Come on, boss. Come on. Yeah.